What's good everyone, it's Zigzag here. Welcome back to another video on the Jira Guess Explained channel. Uh, today I'm actually gonna do some explaining of a good little run I had. This is a seven state streak on Malaysia, which I'm pretty sure would be the world record. I'm not really sure anyone's ever tried this. If there's actually a higher streak out there somewhere, do let me know, but this should be the world record, I think. Anyway, uh, let's check out how I did it and I'll give you some tips. So the first one here, I'll uh, probably guess quickly, I can't remember, but we've got like a uh, sub up pole top here. It's got two crossbars and almost like a Roman numeral here where it's like kind of like a uh, got like some lines between the ro but if you just remember it kind of looks like a Roman numeral if you zoom in I'll probably zoom in on it here maybe I won't but yeah there's another one right there if you want to look at it uh, and zoom back or go back into the video but there we go it was to wow and then we get a nice score to start off with here next one here JHL on the sticker here uh, when it starts with J thinking of certain states like Kuala Lumpur area and Johor, that's particularly common. Then we have these grey bins with a green lid, which are particularly common in the south of uh, Malaysia here, so definitely thinking of Johor most of all. To be fair, it didn't fit perfectly for Johor, but yeah, I, I was I was feeling pretty good. Then we also had a blue street sign. Obviously in Johor, they normally have yellow ones. So that's also why I had to take a few more moments here to confirm. Um, just looking at the architecture and everything does feel like quite metropolitan as well. So definitely wanted to click on some kind of city. Uh, and so eventually I'm getting into the map here. Yeah, it was kind of like, this was not like one of the stickers where you have like obvious clues. So you had to kind of think a little bit here. Anyway, I, uh, kind of still thinking, we'd see some mountains, I think in the distance or it feels kind of hilly. So I go for Kluang, definitely thinking of all the other states north of it as possible. For some reason I shake the camera back and forth, but okay. There we go. It is just somewhere in Johor there. Okay, next one here. Now, my current theory is that single white line is much, much more common in Borneo. Um, so immediately thinking of Borneo here, we have a very thin pole there. Still not quite sure, just plonk Saba and it is correct. Okay, next one here. Uh, this one's not so easy. So looking there, we have quite a vast landscape. We have a lot of palms here. I think the big clue comes when I zoom in north on the road, but until then I'm looking, we have like a thin pole there, kind of common in Borneo. And then I zoom on this sign here and you can see that it's not got a black and white striped pole at all. And the poles are like very thin as well. It made me think of Sabah where you often don't have um, striped poles and where the, uh, the connection of the top of the pole is uh, like that. Now I'm going to release my Malaysia document soon with all, I'm going to reveal every meta I know on there. So you guys are going to have that soon. But uh, for the meantime, I plonk uh, Sabah here, is correct. We moved to a four state streak already. So obviously getting three Sabahs in a row there basically helps a lot when you're trying to get these kinds of streaks. Next one here, we are in a dense forest and we have uh, lots of palms. Now, whatever's on here does not help in my opinion. I don't think I found anything on here that actually helps. Maybe if you could speak Malaysian, then there would be something. But as far as I could tell, Actually, nothing. So, like, Jalan Kampung there, that just means, like, uh, Kampung Street, I think. So, yeah, nothing actually too useful here. So, then I'm left to go based on landscape. So, it's very forested. It feels hilly, although you can't really tell. It could, could feel mountainous or something. Feels like it's very wet. And I kind of thought Parak was a good option here. I'm not really sure. Uh, Parak just has quite a bit of forest and quite a bit of mountains. So that was kind of my logic here. And uh, we end up plonking really close in the mountains there. So a really good score as well. Next one here, bit of a different one. We're still in a forest. We still have mountains, black stickers there. This is actually quite an impressive guess, probably the most impressive guess I had in the run. Um, and so we saw a black bin here. Yeah, so like this kind of small black bin. I would definitely associate that one uh, with certain states in Malaysia, like Perak, Terengganu, and Kelantan. I think of the three states where you'd probably be most likely to see that on the peninsula. Uh, so that's what I was kind of thinking here. Could still be others because it's a generic little bin, but uh, we saw a lot of tiled roofs and we saw like um, uh, like those mountains as well. So Perak just feeling pretty good again. I hit it and it was actually typing there. So we are correct in the in the fact that it's typed uh, Perak. Next one here is not a complete giveaway here. We have some thin poles, like this particular thin pole here, definitely seeming relatively good for somewhere in Borneo. Then also we have this green street sign here with a black and white um, signpost. That was feeling good for Kuching area in Sarawak. And then we have this one, which is a Sarawak lamppost with this kind of a boomerang kind of thing uh, on the very end of it. So with all that, we have a guaranteed seventh state in a row here. Obviously, 
In this streak, how many uh, Borneos do we have? We have four out of seven Borneos. So I don't think this was the highest skill streak, but obviously you need to uh, get some luck in there to get a good streak like this. I do think I could get a seven streak on the Peninsula. I just have to play really, really well and have good clues. Anyway, next one here is completely clueless in my opinion. Okay, this kind of foliage I would associate more with Borneo, but you can find it easily on the Peninsula as well. Uh, we have like a double pole here. Unfortunately, black stick are not showing. Don't really think there's any way you can see what's going on in that pole at all, unfortunately. Uh, may have got me there in the end if I could have seen a black sticker on this, this location, but ultimately it was always going to be difficult when it's so rural. And uh, yeah, I mean like road also with like a pinkish tinge, kind of lower quality, reminded me a little bit of uh, somewhere in Java, I mean in Borneo. Then we have like some small rifts in the sky or some kind of like camera artifacts which made me think maybe even of North Peninsula which you often get like Penang and Kedah so yeah I don't really, wasn't really sure here this was definitely going to be a difficult one um but yeah like just kind of looking at the forest and all that bit I, I was I was kind of I was kind of very clueless and I thought to myself you know what I'll just skip forward a minute here I thought to myself like, I was looking at all the northern states here pretty intently, but I thought to myself, look, Sarak is just the biggest state. Let's let's just see if it's there, you know? If it was Sarak, it had to be around Kuching, which is the main city in the south where it says Sarawak there. Uh, but, hey, I mean, like, yeah, wasn't really sure. I thought, like, the, the peninsula states are just too small to really, like, send any with more confidence. So I thought this was probably the best uh, approach. And so I guess here it is actually in Kelantan there. I think it was one of the states I was considering, but definitely would have had to have had a bit of luck to get it correct there. So that is it for the video. Seven in a row. I definitely think I can get 10. Um, beyond 10 might be stretching it a little bit, but yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll keep on grinding some Malaysia and hopefully I can get that for you guys. But in the meantime, thanks for watching. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it and you want to see me get more world, rec world records and uh, let me know if you got a higher one than this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye and catch you later.